But I will tell you why she have that heart. And many people play her. But she, she told me, I've forgiven everyone. She told me that, you know what? I forgive her. She, she normally share everything she have. Normally share everything she has. And why God is blessing me? I will tell you, it's not that I pray too much, you know. It's because I love this woman so much. Well, when, when you're a pastor, you want God to use you too much. May love your wife so much. Make your wife happy. Remember 1 Peter 3 verse 7. It says that your prayers can be hindered by your wife. Isn't it? Your prayers. Go. There are certain things God will never give you. I'm telling you now. <laughs> until you make this woman, your wife, happy. Uh, this, this is a secret that I was told by God. Uh, my anointing was limited. Anointing can be limited. May I stay with that woman and make her happy. Look what I did, which I know you can't do it. I know what I did. I sat down with my wife, not with rents. If I get dollars, I give her. I said, Mama, me, I don't want to hold money. I told my wife, I don't want money from the church. I don't want, if I get money, I'll give you. I took all the department of money. If you want your wife to love you so much, make department of money. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you are getting deliveries. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm telling you. I took the department of money, I gave it to my wife. I said, Mama, please, I want to pray. I don't want to know what you are doing with money. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what, listen, this is what I told myself. Number one, I don't want to know what Mama is doing with money. If she doesn't have money, I'll pray to God to give me money. When I get it, I give her. Mama, she knows I don't have money. She must manage what she has. Mama knows her husband doesn't have money. Okay, she wants this, she will get it. She wants that, she'll get it. She has this. And I get money. Boom! Give it. I never had argument with my wife. My daughter, she's here. Stand up. Oh. Did you ever hear us arguing? Just take mic and answer that. You are before God. No, Daddy. You have never asked here, yeah, as Agui. No. In a one day. Mm -mm, no. You hear that my daughter is telling now. My daughter, she's telling. There will be no argument. I gave her her department. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you. The moment, listen, I, I just want to finish this. The Bible never said a husband is able to build a house. The Bible never says something like that. If, if you want to have a house, take money. Give it to your wife. Your wife will build a house. If now you have your own here, the Bible says the the, the it says what? The wife what? The wife's wife. Her hands does what? Build her own house. Can't anybody buy baby? You talk guy. Can't you talk guy? Now, look here. When you give, look here, like myself. That's what I've done. I'm trying to tell you this. You people are going to be big people. Yeah, you people are going to be big. Are you hearing that? I'm telling you this so that when money comes, my brother, you give to this. Look, if you give money, you hold money. I'm telling you. 
you'll be searching for the one you can give if you don't give your wife. You hear what I'm trying to say? You'll hear people from home calling you, hello, Agna Chalet, you send it. And how you're going to send it, you'll be hiding from your wife. And these people, they are not demanding money because they love you. No. I don't know, I don't know if you're hearing me. So now, number two, you need to have agreements. The first agreement is, you have money, eh? you take care of the parents. You have money, you take care of the parents. Your parents have been taken care equally. You, you cannot say, you have money, you are holding money, and you want to do, take care of the parents, you say, you keep quiet. When the wife is having money now, if you're a wise one, you tell your husband, Daddy, I was thinking about doing this. A wife who's wise speaks with her husband by suggestions, not with a command. Now you're able to tell this man, my husband, I'm thinking about we buy your mom this. Your husband will say, let's do it both sides. There will be no issues of your mom is a witch, your mom is a witch. You understand? The money is with you. you have. If you come out with an idea of money, or to do with money, put it in your wife. Get out, pray. Pray. God will give this woman wisdom. She will do everything. I'm not talking about small money here. When God started to do that with me, he gave me a lot, I gave it to her. I check. Like this. Now I've got a chance to supervise. That's the, as a head of the family. You understand what I'm trying to say? My wife will do this, that, 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 that. She will do this and this and say, oh. She was the one who was taking care of her parents and my parents. We give them salaries. And she didn't start this thing with big money. Are you hearing that? You start, okay. Okay, let me send 1,000, 1,000. 2,000, 2,000. 5,000, 5,000. 10,000. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? But if you don't start it, it will never happen. You're still going to say, my money. Ureka wena grozari. Naki rekle last time, ureka wena. Wena reka, we are wena. Wena we are yae. You are going to fight for useless things. The wife will go out, my brother. This wife represents you. She must go out and do nails. The, the ugly wife doesn't represent you. She go out, when she's doing nails, she's not doing it for herself, she's doing it for you. She, not like your wife here, red lips here. It's not for yourself, it's for yourself. <laughs> for yourself to see. Now you are taking care of your wife. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yeah? Whatever you are doing, my brother, for this woman, it's no selfish reason. You are doing it for yourself. Now you have money. You are sending it on the other side. You are sending it on the other side. And you're a pastor. You expect God to give you when you are failing in your own house. Amen. The Bible says he who fails to take care of his own house yes. must not take care of the church. Me, I'm able. My wife is there. I made her happy. And God opened doors for me. You, you hear what I'm trying to say? Amen. If I want to travel here, I just go, okay, let me go to US. Let me go everywhere. Simple pastor cannot do that with simple minds. What I'm telling you here is something to make you awake. You say, I don't want money. I put this money to my wife. When you have a right husband, you say, put money. Your wife who's wise will never just do things without telling you. She will come now. You are teaching your wife to come and report to you now. She will come and say, Daddy, uh, I saw something like this. They said, 
So now you say, okay, oh, you still have money? You say, yes, I have money. Oh, you want it? Oh, okay, do it. Now she, you have taught your wife to report to you. The wife, what is it that she's going to report? Always when she comes. When you are sitting and you are tired, you are still scratching here, you want Papa to come. She says, there is no Papa. Why? Because money is with you. Look here. The reasons why some, some, I've seen some men who are sick, very, very sick. And the reasons why they are sick is money. Because the wife now, she's trying to manage what she can cook for them. She just say, okay, there's nothing I can do. And then from there, when I want, I'm all like, boom, boom, boom. And now you are eating marapoli kabishi. Because that's what she's having. What was she supposed to do? A right, we need to change. Tell her neighbor, we need to change. So now, once you have a wife that works and you are not working now, that's another story. We'll talk about it next time. We'll talk about that. I want to pray for you. Once you have a wife who works and you are not working and she has got a way of getting money, we'll talk about it. Because that's only one mistake that many wives who have money does. They talk by signs. Look at their face. They can take this. They, can, they know what to do. Sometimes when you talk, they check if you are talking sense or not. They can keep quiet. They can be angry so quick, short-tempered, and disrespect. And that makes a woman ugly. A woman whose wives who want to be beautiful will respect her husband, whether he's having money or not. Will say, I want to support your vision. <laughs> what do you say about it? That amen was powerful. 